This show was filmed on location at Brazos Hall during South by Southwest, sponsored by Yahoo. a terrible start. Terrible, misogynist, it's a horrible, clinically disgusting show. You, you, can't, you can't rhyme room with anything but womb, and, and no one wants to think about the womb when you're, when you're, when you're uh, in a sexual way. That's, that's, the womb is, a, is, a, is a, its own thing. Uh, you, don't, you, don't want it, you don't want it to associate it with the sexual act. <clears throat> you want to associate it with life. And Texas. Um, <laughs> Thanks for having us back, uh, uh, Austin, the Portland of, of Texas, as I call it. <laughs> you guys are you guys are fantastic. Thanks for thanks for waiting around and coming here. And uh, we're we're here in uh, in Austin because we're premiering uh, our sixth season of my little show, Community. <laughs> There's a little bit of overlap there between the audiences uh, for community and the podcast. How many people here are strictly here just for community? But by applause. By, it's a podcast. Don't, don't raise your hands. That doesn't get us anywhere. <laughs> okay. How many people here are just diehard Harmontown fans and don't give a shit about community? <laughs> you don't want to you know say don't give a shit about community. I mean, like, I'm they, just trying to, I'm trying to find the polls here. The, you're, the try, you're trying to stir shit up. Yeah. <laughs> you want to rumble. Uh, what'd you say, sir? Okay. <laughs> uh, the the, the, the talkback oh, format might not work as well. Oh, I, I, we found Texan shy Adam Goldberg. <laughs> What's that? Uh, the postman only rings once, and, and also he, you don't have a doorbell. He's yelling. I don't know what that saying means. Uh, so uh, I got nothing, so it's going to be a bad show, but uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be done about 8.30. And uh, boy, look at all of the... I, haven't, I've just, I just walked in the back door and came out here, and I, there's more money has been spent promoting community in this room than in five years at... at <laughs> uh, there's, and by that I mean there's there's two vinyl signs and some balloons, <laughs> which is huge. It's a 500 percent increase in the marketing budget for our show. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Like like Yahoo has been a very very strange experience for everybody on that 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 sad little show that that like, has really become accustomed to. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to address the sirens or just. <laughs> Ignore them. I don't know what to, I don't know what a master performer would do. Maybe work the sirens into the thing. Oh no, the sirens are here. Uh, <coughs> oh, what are you doing out here? What's what's all this? Oh, it's a police officer. Okay. A Anthony Jeselnik had a pretty good one. He was doing a thing, and a siren goes outside. You can barely hear it on the recording, and he says, "That's how hard I'm killing." <laughs> I just stole some guy's joke. <laughs> You credited him. Um, the, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, Yahoo's great. Okay, all right. Well, you're, you're, you're saying it was strange for the cast. It's been a weird experience for them. Why? Because they're being treated like a cast of a TV show? Or? Yeah, they're, I mean, uh, you would think it was like 1995 and that we were getting like a three rating or something, the way that Yahoo uh, talks to the, the cast and stuff. They're, um, they're, they talk about doing Emmy campaigns and promoting the show and stuff like that. And, 
uh, yeah, I, I've, I've told this story before, but like yeah, Kathy Sabat, the, the CMO of, of Yahoo, came to the set and visited, and she was like, gathered the cast around and was just filling them in on what we were going to be doing this year. And, and 10 minutes into it, she noticed that they were being really quiet, and she was like, am I, are you guys, am I offending you or something? And, the, and then Ken Jong went, like, really s sincerely, went, you have to understand, no one's ever talked to us like this before. <laughs> And it was really sad and Aww. delightful. But it is like there's no there's no enemies now, and there's no and I don't know if it's going to have a a positive or a negative impact on the content of the show because I just I just work on it and then like all I now all of a sudden it's like okay well if it's it's not it's, I have no it's, it's, yeah if there's no Death Star if there's no Darth Vader up there why why leave uh, Tatooine man. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not just make a show about like going to Mos Eisley and like, I, and when that guy says like, "I don't like you either," you go like, "Well, why don't you get to know me?" And uh, <laughs> and then you just like move into an apartment with him, and the <laughs> there's there could be structural issues with this season, is what I'm saying. <laughs> we got a B plus in Entertainment Weekly. A no, B no. It's, I sleep on my office couch. This is an A minus show. Uh, I don't know what they give A A's to, but how we many got a nights B+. a week are you are you sleeping on the office couch? All of them? Literally all like week. Like 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 Aaron just like just get, hit a tipping point where she was like she either we either had to identify this as a problem and, and, and therefore solve it with divorce, or we had to like look at this as like this is what what it's going to be until we're done shooting and so like there'll be just days where I just like okay going to sleep on the couch and then I'll wake up and work on the show but I, I, now I feel self-conscious talking about that because you're gonna watch it and you're gonna be like you slept on your couch <laughs> it's just a karate kid joke <laughs> could have got home by three at least um all right but uh I want to I want to I want to um I want to bring out Spencer right away uh <laughs> Wait, oh. From the, from the, 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 I'll, I'll the, start, I'll, Dan, I'm, I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to start from the top. You ready? Okay. I, I know you have troubles with the intro here. Yeah, no, it's like you got to start right away, right? Ready? No, I can, and... I, can wait, I can wait one bar. Uh-huh. I can wait one bar. You can wait as long as you want. No, it's two bars? State the one wherever you, like, it's, the, it's always on the one, man. Spencer, make yourself comfortable. Spencer's over there. I like that they've given you a nice Barcelona chair over there. That's very groovy. Is that what you call this? Is this a Barcelona chair? I believe it's a, it's a re reproduction of what they used to call a Barcelona chair. Who is it, by Miller or Noel or some Eames? Oh, or? well, this is an Ikea article. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not an original one. I think they call it a Flonox. <laughs> a Flonox. <laughs> they call it a Stubnorts. <laughs> All right, Dan, Spencer Rep. Okay, stop it. Is that... <sighs> you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> just, uh, what's happening up here is entertainment. You're right. <laughs> you're, I'm not going to burst that bubble. You are certainly right to applaud and woo for that. I think so. <laughs> that certainly wasn't what would have happened if your uncle had come up here <laughs> uh, with a drink in his hand. This is, a, this is nothing like just one of your weddings, um, what's going on. Uh, it's actual entertainment that's worthy of being broadcast and paid for. You're absolutely right. Uh, <clears throat> so you're still rocking the, the uh, flannel, even though it's a little arid out here. Oh, it's quite arid out here, Dan. <sighs> um, that sigh wasn't for you. It was for me. Oh. The, the, uh, are, are, do, you, are we gonna, do you think we're going to play something tonight? Because I don't care. We don't have to, but... Uh, I was, I well, yeah, I mean, I was thinking maybe we could start off with some checkers, move into some tag. Okay. <laughs> tag. We'll figure it out. Has, is, is anything, uh, do you have a bee in your bonnet, uh, politically, socially, or economically? Uh, oh, man. 
I don't know. Okay, so I listen to this radio station that its big claim to fame is they're always talking about how commercial free they are. All, all, every commercial break, they say commercial free. It's stupid as fuck. But the worst thing is they go commercial free starting now. They play one song and then they do two minutes of commercials. That's literally the opposite of commercial free. And this is the selling point of the station, is that they're commercial free. and they're, they're, saying, the, they're saying they're commercial free, but there are commercials? They're saying they're commercial free one song before playing a three minute block of commercials. Yeah. More commercials than music. That's bullshit. So they're just letting you know the commercials are over for the time being. By saying yeah, for commercial. one song. I mean, but you could, you'd also know that if you started hearing the song being played. Why, why, do you li why are you listening to radio? Uh, you're, you're, a, you're a star child. Why, why do you even know about radio? Uh, you know, sometimes my uh, Apple Watch is broken. Too soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you, are, are you, it was really tragic when the Apple Watch got announced. Are you going to get an Apple Watch? No, it's, it's pretty dumb, if we're honest. <laughs> Too soon. It's all about that... Uh, what do you call it? Galaxy Wear. Is that what they call it? <laughs> Samsung Wrist. Oh, is that, is that, wait, we don't, we're not in some way indirectly affiliated with Samsung today, are we? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know sometimes that happens. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, you, uh, good, good, good riff about uh, the Uber sexual harassment. The president of Uber's in the back. He wants to say you're welcome for the uh, catering. Uh, oh, shit. I, 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 God damn it. I didn't I even I have forgot. any of that catering. I, uh, I sat in front of a guy on, on the flight out here. I walked on the plane, and first guy I see, Robert Duvall sitting on the plane. That's badass. <laughs> that, that was very cool. And he looked bummed out. He didn't like it. He, he looked like he was not happy to be coming to South by Southwest. What do you think that would sound like if Robert Duvall was bummed out on a plane? So, I'm on a big, big titted plane. <laughs> it's a big titted plane. But uh, then I, get, I go back, and I'm sitting way back in steerage, and uh, there's two guys behind me, and I, 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 it, it was like sitting in front of two Abeds from Community, uh, and they were out Abedding each other, and it was like, cool, yeah, cool, yeah, so I did this, yeah, that, cool, 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 and uh, one of the guys worked for Samsung. I know that because he said it nine fucking thousand times during that. <laughs> At one point, actually, I got up and said, do you guys mind? And I, I, they were talking full, like, louder than I'm talking right now on a, on a plane full of adult, adult people. How, how, how loud in, 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 in comparison to how loud the audience is talking right now? Are they talking? Oh! oh. Could you? Oh. <laughs> it, it every time we come to South by Southwest, we're always somehow in a room where there's an auction happening. I don't. <laughs> Are, 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 are we at a Fuddruckers? What the fuck is going on? It is. I, I, I don't understand. What, is there something? Is, we're, are we double booked? Is there a bachelor party? I, I know it can't be anyone's fault, but who the fuck is talking? What is going on? That, we, the, the, the last time we did it, it was we booked it, and I thought, oh, I guess that's we, yeah, we, but the we screwed is, up. This room, like the last place, it's all brick and glass and nothing but reflective surfaces, and it's... Uh, but so, the, the last place, there was an excuse because it was literally just a hotel lobby. Like, anyone could be there. Like, I don't know how people get in, but apparently there was a lot of trouble from some people trying to get in. So I don't, there's no excuse. I mean, we, yeah. we see this guy. We could come down hard on these people and say, be quiet, but then we'd have to replace that silence with entertainment. Yeah, that's yeah. the tricky thing. Oh, no, yeah, that's the thing. That's why I don't complain, because I'm not, like, going to be like, hey, shut up over there. I'm trying to do what you're doing. <laughs> But in a more entitled way. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> we're, wow. we're being heckled by the people that want to listen. I, I sir, I can't. I can't. <laughs> the, 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 that emperor is naked. If you don't know, I mean, come on. Well. Uh, I, Wait, so, come on. What are you doing? Wait, are, are you, you on the staff? <laughs> oh, you're just wearing a... Okay. I just want to be a part of your What the fuck is happening? <laughs> it's, 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 I, I feel like Harmontown has crossed a threshold where we, we've been so laissez-faire about letting, letting the... Hey, everybody at the bar, shut the fuck up! <laughs> it's not going to work. I, I love you. I love you. Uh, if you want to be a part of it, come up and grab a mic. Let's, let's meet you. Sideline guy, get on stage. Do, do, do you got what you need to?
South by Southwest. Gonna meet a person. That Where doesn't in a vest? Know us. What's happening? How are you? Your name is Jordan. I see on your tag. Is it on? Uh, we're we're on. Yep. Oh, How are you guys doing? My name is Jordan. What's what's don't, your Twitter don't account? Don't boo me. What? Come on. Don't tell them not to boo you. <laughs> uh, apologies. Apologies. Boo, boo if you like. Don't boo him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't tell you what to do. Uh, all right, Jordan, why are you at South by Southwest? I'm at South by Southwest because me and my partner, Ryan Brown, we are starting an alcohol delivery app. It's called Top Shelf. Are you just up here to plug your own shit right now? <laughs> he, he, to he asked me. He asked me. <laughs> you... Wait, 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 Jordan, Jordan, I, I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you to be very honest with me. Yes, sir. You were standing over on the sidelines, standing up, not, not seated, standing right on the stage right edge of the stage. And you said, tweet me, or give me a tweet shout out. Or no, 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 I asked for his Twitter handle so we could tweet him. So you, you could tweet him? Yes. Because that would get Dan, what, a, a million more followers? Or what happened? <laughs> no, no. I said I liked him because I thought he was funny. You like him? I like him. And yet him. the moment you get on stage, you start shilling your products. No. Not at all. Is that, well, is, I, I don't know how much you? of a I don't know how much of a crime that is. I mean, no. it's uh, South, South by Southwest has been infiltrated by capitalist interests. <laughs> I, it's the secret's out because Dan, let's, there's not a lot of people here for the spiritual uh, edification of it. You've got to be. You've got to give me some fairness here. You did ask me. Did yes, you not? and it's an honest answer. You're here for because of this product. I, I don't mean to. I, I I feel ironically compelled to like stick up for people. Anybody who's being like kind of. I think I, I feel like we. We let you on stage in the same way the Germans let the, 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 the troops at Normandy on the beach. I feel like you, you, were, you, you were coming up here. No matter how... Too, too, that was too soon. I'm sorry, sir. I, 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 I disagree. I thought it was... I, thought, I, thought we I feel were like we've been here. ambushed here, Dan. I'd like to hear more about his, his alcohol uh, distribution app that... Who doesn't like to drink, right? Come on, I, we're all drinking here. I don't like a drink. What do I do with your app? I, I don't drink. You don't drink? Yeah, so what's in it for me? Do you do weed? What's that? Do You should do weed. We, we do do weed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, eventually. No, we're not oh. there yet. Okay. Wait, well, Jordan, is the, seriously, what is the, what is the app? Is it, a, is it like a, a yummy.com, like you deliver booze to no, people? So you get on the app. We connect, we, excuse me, we connect with your local liquor stores, and we display their inventory on your iPhone. So basically, you can scroll through, say, I want a bottle of Jameson, a six-pack of Shiner, and we bring it to you in under an hour. So whether you live in Texas or wherever... Now, you're not the one driving when they bring it, right? No, that we actually... Because you've been using this app oh, all day. Yeah, yes! And it, which is fine. Like, you're a spokesman for it. You so should... I've been walking. Yeah. I've been wa Uber is awesome. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so it's like, it's like one of the, it's just, a, it's another one of those, not to, not to trivialize it, it's another uh, kind of peer-to-peer, -peer, no, that's not the word, it's a fucking thing that delivers alcohol. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a pink, pink elephant, or I don't know what, what's local, or what's, uh, what was the, giz, giz, Gizmodo, yeah, so we, bling, bling, we've, we've bloop, tried bloop. To make, it's just yeah. like Grub Gizmodo. Grubhub, 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 it's like Grubhub Wait. for booze! Why, yeah. why? Why, why, is our, why exactly. is our show tonight like an episode of Price is Right? Everyone's yelling shit out. <laughs> hey, come on. It's, an, it, it's, an, it's an infomercial. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I want to get drunk, I'm always too far away from the booze. There you go. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jordan, for... Hey, Jordan, for, Jordan. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I, I'm going to let you guys get back to the show. I, I really do appreciate you Jordan, guys. Jordan, real quick. Jordan, real quick. What's the, uh, we'll give you a plug. What's the name of the app again? Top Shelf. Top Shelf. You can follow us on, on uh, Instagram. We're just at Top Shelf. Okay, it's, Jordan. It's pretty simple. Jordan, uh, you're a booze delivery professional, right? Oh, oh yeah. And, Lots and, of training. Right. Lots of training. And we allowed, we allowed you up on stage. We plugged your product, right? Right. Now, Jordan, do me I'll a get favor. get the fuck out of here. I know. I'd like a double bullet rye on the rocks. Go grab me a drink. Yeah! Will you, will, you, will you get it for Jeff? The reputation of your company is on the line. I'm on the way, baby. All right. We're, we're timing him. Time him. Someone's got to stop watch. Can... Play some music on how long it takes him to bring you liquor. Look, he's really doing it. He's, he's... 
Hey, Jordan, TikTok. Oh, tick we're, get, we're getting a lot of gestures. Oh. Look, looks like new media has failed us again. Well, my name is Top Shelf, and I'm here to say you ain't getting a motherfucking drink. No way. I can't get you a booze, can't get you a drink, because my fucking app really is taking... I didn't... Jesus Christ. All I right. didn't ask for a goddamn beer, Jordan. I asked for a bullet rye on the rocks. <laughs> this is... Bullet rye. Uh -huh. what? A Jack Daniels on the rocks. Go, Jordan, go. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. There's no liquor? Hey, Jordan, Jordan, you know what you should do? If, if, there's, no, if there's no whiskey here, you should use your app. Take your app. Unfortunately, our app is not live until this next Friday. Wait, 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 I gotta, I gotta, wait, I gotta, <laughs> just Jeff, here's no! the thing. <laughs> I'm not waiting six days for a drink, Jordan. <laughs> you, 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 you are the Uber of booze apps. We, we have launched, we've asked Apple, they rejected our, our advance, so we tried to make it. But yeah, we're coming. Well, my grandpa lied about his age so he could fight in World War II. We're American. I don't, know, I don't know what that means. Uh, all right, Jordan, give me that beer. Thank you for Jordan, everybody. Jordan and Top Shelf. It's a, come on, it's a weird world, and it's a new generation taking, taking the battle to the streets. That's, uh, uh, there, there's 300 million of us, and our economy's going to be fine because it's in those hands. We don't, our, our nation has determined it, it refuses to lift things, manufacture things, uh, export things, but, but we're on it. We're an innovation uh, uh, economy. We're, we're dreamers, and we're gonna, that's going to pay the rent. Can I just say, did anyone else find it weird that his business only had an Instagram account? <laughs> like, I feel like you start with Twitter or Facebook, right? Instagram is, I don't know, I don't know. All right. I got, a, I got a special guest that I wanted to chat with, but um, uh, let's, uh, uh, well, actually, let's bring him up first. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my partner, uh, my, uh, the, the, the shelf to my top shelf dot com, uh, who, who, who years ago at South by Southwest said, let's come up with a, an app that delivers entertainment to people upon request. Uh, so, we, so we started making this show together. Uh, please welcome uh, the other executive producer of Community, Chris McKenna. <laughs> Coming. From the day I met Chris McKenna, I knew he was the one. Look at this leisurely walk to the stage. He's a giant Irish man that likes the fun. Family, family, family. Chris McKenna's here. Take, 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 take a mic at any seat you like. Uh, yes. Uh. Hey, Jordan, um, he just gave me a sip of whiskey. Jordan, let me, he has other podcasts to, to, to ambush. Is it, is it on? <laughs> is that guy just walking around town storming stages? Check. I can't find a there's a switch there's a tiny switch there but my hands are full. Check. Tiny delicate fingers of Jeff Davis. Thank you. <laughs> Chris right. McKenna, I like the way that Oh wait, no that's that was just a sip. It was not for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get an app. I, I thought you were just setting it down. Oh, sure. No. Set it down right. Here. Okay, uh, somebody keep your eye on the time. Yeah, hey, wait, can we bring uh, can we bring Harmon Dino Hybrid up on stage real quick in the front row? Will you come up on stage, sir? Can we get Dan? Oh, no. Reading Rainbow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you, Reading you Rainbow. About that guy, you want him to? You, 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 he, 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 only if he wants to. Do you want to come up on stage to? Or at least okay. just stand up. And, yeah. This guy looks a little bit. If Dan Harmon and Dino Stamatopoulos had a child together, uh, if, if, if Starburns from Community and Dan uh, had a love child, it would be this, this gentleman right here. I can fiddle with that mic. Check. Here, Dan. <laughs> Rainbow. Uh, 
Yeah, you're, you're, it's, Jeff is saying, we're, we're feeding this like on video, right? So some people can partake yeah, of this. This is exciting. No, it's not a live stream today, Dan. Oh, oh, oh it's check just it. a, okay. So Jeff's saying yeah. you look like if me and Dino uh, had a baby. <laughs> All right. She knows. <laughs> 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 what, 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 what's your name? Mike. Use, use the mic. Use the mic. Mike. Mike. Yeah, like no, an ice cream. Yeah, there you Is go. Is it working? Or? It's Absolutely working. Not. Also, I mean, you were brought, up, brought on stage because of how you look. Testing, so. test. <laughs> That's working, man. Yeah. Okay. You got a Reading Rainbow shirt? and. Uh, yep. Oh, it's Jordan. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> this fucking... This crap... <laughs> Uh, Jordan's back, everybody. <laughs> He's got something in his bomb. backpack. Oh! oh! <laughs> Jordan just brought me a full bottle of Bullet Rye whiskey. I take it all back. That was pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn fast. There's also there's another app called the Austin Police that that don't that don't allow that. By the way, uh, yeah. as you notice, there's no kettle up here or or even Tito's because I'm allowed to receive gifts if I don't open them up on stage. Probably it's it's unopened, so that should be fine. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you, Jordan. Well, thank you, Mike. I mean, unless you have something you'd like to plug, I think you should. Hey, I, don't, I don't know. Thank you, Jordan. This might be too much. Thank you. That that'll be all. <laughs> Jordan, wait, table five needs bread. <laughs> That's Jeff's joke, Jeff's joke. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Mike, Mike everybody. Mike's, Mike's got an app, too. All right, let's play Who Wants to Ask Chris McKenna a Question About Community? Dan is going out into the audience with his little baby run. Anyone, raise your hand if you've got a question for Chris McKenna, executive producer of Community. All right, I, I, I like this guy. What's your question for Chris McKenna, who's, who's made community what it is? What's your favorite episode? Boring. <laughs> just Chris, what is your favorite Sorry. episode? You mean of community or just any TV show of all time? Oh, Obviously yeah. of community. The French diplomacy episode of news radio. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right, moving on. Is it, this guy's... This guy's uh... Second, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Okay, answer. Chris. My wife and I, we tweet, we do whatever we can to the sponsors of the community. In the past, we still want to do it moving forward. So moving forward, what can the fans do to help support community as we rock on? You know, I get asked that so often that you're getting, you're getting tired of hearing my response. I have no idea. I honestly... <laughs> Just I love it and watch it. And aren't, aren't people I, supposed to just watch TV? I mean, like, yeah, like, like I, when did we let them trick us into thinking that we needed to work for our television? Like no. a bunch of fucking prolies in an Orwell novel. An Orwell novel. 1984. Uh, <laughs> Dan, Dan, name another could, could Orwell animal farm. <laughs> uh, Moby Dick, animal farm. bitch. Mo <laughs> uh, no, honestly, Yahoo said when they came on, look, tell everyone to back off. <laughs> Back the fuck off. This we, is all us. <laughs> Tell the fans. Um, no, they, just watch it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you love it, you know, talk about it with your friends. <laughs> but, but, I, I but I don't want to, we don't want to enlist you guys. I mean, just, just love it. But when you do or talk not. about it, don't do that thing with your face. You know what I'm talking about. You don't? Ugh. What's your, what's your question in this all-male question and answer uh, uh, themed period? I hope it's about wieners. What's your favorite physical feature of Dan Harmon? <laughs> it is about wieners. That's good. You don't even have to answer, Chris. He's, it's, I'm, uh, I'm doing a montage in my head of, aw, like all of them. I want to I I take every element and then do this to it. Uh, but is that you but the dead eyes, I think. The dead... <laughs> The dead stare. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's mix up the all-male Q&A with a female question. I bet it's going to have eyelashes and a pink bow. This question. Is there, is there any... any do you, you, can, you can muster one. Uh, it's kind of related. Did you watch Gillian Jacobs on Girls? And what did you... Who? I, I have not seen Gillian on Girls, but yeah. I love the idea of her being on it. 
No, I did not. Have, did you see, you didn't see Gillian on Girls? I did not. Yeah. That really was a female question. Can, yeah, I know. I felt like a stereotype, so I failed. Will you say hey to Megan, because she's dying that she's not here? Will you say hey to Megan, because she's dying that she's not here? I, I've, I've, all right, hey, Megan. Megan, we miss you. We know you have that, you have that thing going on. We're all pulling for you. Some of us more than less, more than others. But um, anyway, Megan, call me. Wow, this is really, yeah, this is working out. This is, this like, is, this is, this is Gans, right? We're talking about Megan. By the way, the show is so much better off stage. <laughs> I know, no way. All right, let's get a uh, handsome Pat Oswalt desk. Thank you. <laughs> if you were in front of a room full of people and had to rank the Rocky training montages from worst to best, what would you do? Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I'd rack my brain for all the Rocky montages, I guess. The one with the chicken first? <laughs> yeah, the chicken, chicken one's got to be the best one. Yeah, but then you had the, yeah, the Carl Weathers one. I like the, I like the one the, when On he, the beach, on the Venice beach. What about the one where they're intercutting it with uh, Yvonne Drago and, he, and like Rocky's like doing like, like out in the snow doing real shit and it's then Yvonne Drago's... High tech, goes, he's getting, high tech yeah. 1990s or 19, late 1980s. Yeah, he's, like, he punches a robot into steroids. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the height of like Reaganomics. Yeah, like, thinking I, of, it's like, yeah, we're the underdogs because the Russians have all of this amazing equipment. And poor little the, American Rocky has to train with a stick. <laughs> if, you've, if you've ever seen the Russian arcade games... <laughs> You know they were all like top flight on top of all of their electronics. We really like, I think we're all, we all miss the Cold War now, even people that weren't born during it, because they must yeah. watch like movies and TV from, from the Cold War era and go, man, that was so simple and innocent. It was just a bunch of other white people you were kind of mad at. Yeah. <laughs> and, awesome. and so you made spy thrillers about it. And like, like the only people that got hurt were people that you know, their countries were too hard to pronounce to be on the news. No, it was, it was great to, to watch movies where we were supposed to be suddenly worried about, like, ducking and covering, right? Yeah, yeah the idea that the world was at stake every, uh, all day because it was, it was just about Coke and Pepsi. So simple. And then those towers came down. <laughs> oh, that's funny? <laughs> what a generation. <laughs> um, or the wall came down, and then it was, like, movies like... I don't know. What is it? The Dream Team? Dream, yeah, Dream Team, I think, was a response to the Berlin Wall coming down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> night Breeders? Night, night Breeders. <laughs> I think it's just Night Breed. They don't care. Nobody cares. Um, that ends the segment. I asked Chris McKenna a question. I'm so sorry. No, no. It's, it's just they don't, I mean, they don't care about Night Breed. I've, I've talked to them about it. They don't care. And they don't care about race either. That's what's really frustrating. Speaking of, how are you, sir? You're, you're raising your hand. How many meow meow beans does Dan Harmon get? That's a, okay. That's a bonus question for you. How many meow meow beans? Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 would, I would. It's say, kind of a gotcha question. It is because you know he's a man of the people, so he should be a one or a two. Right. But he's a secret elitist, so six. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that definitely ends the segment. Why well, you pointed at him? You get a you had a really good question. He has. A, he pointed his beard. Chris, are you going to be playing Shadowrun tonight? Uh, oh. I wish Actually, I could uh, take a wait, picture. Is it, oh, wait, oh wait, I've seen. Oh. What? I know the answer that, to that, sir. I, we're, we're actually going to bring you. Jordan back yeah. up. Is that the, the book Shadow I keep on <laughs> seeing you with? Yeah. Jordan's gonna uh, <laughs> I would I would love to. I've not I really been, love the I have the, not been the, invited. Did you guys notice how unanimously the crowd instantly didn't like Jordan when he came up? It was just a unanimous booing right off the bat. Right, Ooh, but, the, they, but I don't the, know I, I don't know if this show has ever had a villain, but that guy seems like like absolutely well, like the oh. show's had a lot of villains, but he really took no, the cake. The, the, uh, no, but, I mean, he was Hart Bachner like, from Die Hard. I feel like, like, he was, I feel like we're trading down because last time I was in Austin here, we had a we had the guy that came up and talked about Bitcoin and he was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled good, but he was doing the same thing that Jordan was doing. Yeah, but he was dynamic and awesome. Well, he's you know his product and, is more interesting. And he he and smelled like delicious candy too. Yeah, 
but but I, I mean, it has to be observed that the guy, you know, he slid into that role, and then he came back, and when everybody, you know, he came back with his backpack, and then everyone was like, whoa, boo! I think, and we never felt more alive. I think the, the coolest thing about the Top Shelf app is that I'm not paying for this, this, this whiskey. It's totally free. Yeah. I've been a community since season one. If, if there's anything that you need to be more alive, it's a villain. Yeah. You absolutely need a villain. You You've been to... surrounded by them, by community. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. This in Harmontown needs a villain. It makes it better. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Saying there's, there's, there's no villain at, at Yahoo. There's, there's no overlord that you're that you're fighting no. against. No, I, no, we're we're scraping around looking for one. <laughs> no, it's like there was really a security like... guard that was bugging us for a while. And there's that guy that's who won't. Low, that's some low stakes potatoes. There's a guy who won't steam clean the floors. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> There is a, yeah, there is a guy at CBS Radford that, that says that we keep pouring our coffee on the concrete and he doesn't want to steam clean the concrete because we pour our coffee on it. He's insane. Can you it's, imagine if a janitor was like, I saw that guy litter, I'm not going to do my job anymore. Also, nobody pours coffee on concrete. He's, he's making it up. That's where the, the garbage guy puts the garbage bags and all the garbage juice leaks under that spot. We're the ones that are there 24 hours a day. Concrete steamer can... Fuck off. Yeah. I mean, I'd steam clean. I, they could pay me to steam clean the concrete. I'd do it. I'd do it for fun. It sounds fucking amazing. I know. <laughs> so, doesn't it sound fun just to do once, like being a DJ or a teacher? <laughs> like, like, just do it for like an hour, steam clean concrete? <laughs> like, it sounds like really cool. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, you're absolutely I'd right. also like to tar a driveway. Yeah. Tar a driveway? Yeah, just, just for like 20 minutes. Just... Just the tar, no asphalt on top. Just, just put, just lay the tar. I down? see you're already. This is amazing. Like I don't know. What do you do if I don't put anything underneath? Do you just I, I believe sink it, into the I tar? I believe the tar is the thing that is the adhesive that holds the top surface. The, 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 and what's the top surface made out of? Just driveway material? A asphalt and, 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 and gravel it's and cement, and, isn't it? Well, it can be. See, okay. this is amazing. You tar a roof, right? You don't put there rebar you. on a on a driveway, man. You could. You, rebar? There's rebar in a driveway. Really? It adds you, you building a super highway? Uh, Sorry, she's okay. all right. All right, you're right. You're right. So, so uh, if you talk, if you if you have one more thing to say about rebar, you have to come up because they, they. Do you have do, more do, opinions do, about rebar? Do you have more opinions about rebar? No, you don't. <laughs> I, I was I, I I took too long to explain that. I was just saying you'd have to come you'd have to also, come up if you you, uh, you, appear, you you appear to have a walker. I don't know that we could get you up on stage with that thing. What's that? Are you are you wounded? What happened? What? Your spine is collapsing. Oh my God! Right, now you have to come up. Can you? Or no, you can't. <laughs> well, I, uh, sorry, she, I, I don't know how much you can hear. What you can't hear was this young lady started talking about rebar pipe, and then I can was we like, "Well, we can't hear you." And then she has a walking device, and she said she has it because her spine is collapsing. <laughs> Which this is a, this is a story that we want to hear. Yeah, just sit, sit near the edge of the stage. Oh, yeah, stand with her there. All right. All right. Let me get. We're getting you a mic. That looks okay. great. That Are looks you comfortable nice there? We're not making you do things that... Okay, check, check. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Annie. Annie. Annie's spine is collapsing. <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean? So uh, I have something called a degenerative spinal stenosis. And what happened was in December, I stopped being able to walk. Jesus. Yeah, that really sucked. <laughs> like, how did that, so, what was the, like, was there, like, an event where, like, that Stephen Hawking story where he's, like, walking down the stairs? Is this just, like, one moment where you're, like... <laughs> yeah, well, I really wish it was more interesting. I literally just, like, fell down in my hallway. Like, all, like I was carrying some laundry and literally well, Stephen just, Hawking like, was just a stairwell. You're, you're just as true. interesting as him. Like, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's perfect. I like that. I like being as interesting as Stephen so you're Hawking. you're just, you're walking in your hallway and then you just lost right. your ability to walk? Literally. And I was like, and I was, I was stuck there for a few hours and I'm like, and I was in so much pain I couldn't move. I also have something called sciatica and when I get it, I also can't walk. So I was thinking that's what it was. Right. So I had to crawl to a phone, <laughs> which was really fun. Like with your arms, like Steven Seagal? Like, totally, like, like, yeah. Like, it, was like, like, it was like war zone without all the excitement. Oh. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then I went. And then I went to the hospital, and I was in the hospital for a few weeks. And uh, and they said, okay, the stenosis thing, which is a phrase I've heard because mm -hmm. you know that sound I make when I laugh. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I, I can't. 
I, they, they think that that's like, it's like, it has something to do with cartilage getting uh, thinner or something, right? Well, in, in the back, what it does is it, um, it's, so old people get it, you know how old people bend over, like as they get older and they're like leaning? Um, like, you know, you see them on their walkers and they look like they're all hunched. That's, that's actually because their spines are falling apart. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Because the cartilage, or the, uh, why am I getting so clinical? I like, just, like, what's the payoff of me understanding it? Yeah. I got it, good night! Bones coming together. Um, but the, no, the important thing is the emotional side of it. Like, how old are you? Uh, I'm 30. Uh, so very young. Uh, even if you were 70, it's too yeah. young to find out one day that you're that walking is behind you. No, totally. And actually, they don't want to uh, operate on me because I'm young. Because they can fuck that up, and that I would never be able to do anything ever again. Meaning, I mean, what what define anything? I mean, like they, they think like they the, could they could paralyze me with the surgery that I would need to correct this. So now, what's the is it the word prognosis? Is that what I mean, like what's the what oh, is yeah. what can you expect? Well, um, I uh, I just I have to go to keep going to physical therapy. I have to keep using this beautiful thing, uh, and uh, just you know, and, and I take a lot of pain medication. <laughs> I get a lot of injections into my spine. Is it going to oh get worse God. and worse? Yeah, it's degenerative. It's it's not going to get any better. Um, I can make the symptoms better. Can I actually have a sip of this? I'm sorry. Yes, you can. I was just going to tell you, uh, Jordan's you. giving you a free account to Top Shelf when it's actually working. Uh, I would really need that, frankly. It is the least we can do. Thank you. No, I, I take a lot of medications. So I get dry mouth really easily. And now you're talking to me, so I'm like, uh. Oh, yeah, like Wait, that you pill, you could... pill mouth. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I misheard that. It's hard to hear in here. I thought you said I take a lot of medications, so I, I can dry hump easily. <laughs> That's not also what she said. Also true. No. <laughs> the, 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 the doctors, have, the doctors gonna... will not operate under there worried they could affect her ability to dry hump. That's the last thing that... <laughs> That's the last thing I really want yeah. at all. I mean, if I couldn't dry hump anymore, I mean, life wouldn't be worth living, so... Well, I, it's you, amazing you that you... a dry hump uh, fan? You, 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 you like your dry humping? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I think it's underrated, definitely. I, I think mean, it is. I think I, 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 if you get a good dry hump, that's fucking... Like, that's a good well, night. Definitely. Absolutely. Good Absolutely. But you got to be with somebody who knows how to dry hump you. If you get a good dry hump, that can almost be better than good, like, oral sex, you know? Like, it's... I agree. I think you're probably impressing people a lot with your, uh, your radiance in the face of something that a lot of people could use as an oh. excuse to be a pretty crabby person. Oh, well, thank uh, you. <laughs> I tried. It's all that dry humping. <laughs> Uh, I do my best not to be an asshole. If there's a, if there's anything we could do in in, in the in the context of a of a show that otherwise has no direction anyway, like <laughs> we would actually be thankful if you just gave us something to do. Like like, is there anything, some kind of fantasy? Uh, uh, on this on this like the podcast? Yeah yeah like 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 I I, oh, I am man. a I'm a master improviser. I can create scene work. Uh, Worlds within worlds. Oh man, I'd almost love to say like I'd love to see you guys improvise like a character ship, like you know, like creating fan fiction on. Have you ever seen the like erotic fan fiction live thing that, that happens in LA? No. Ero oh, yeah. er erotic fan fiction live? Yeah, it's like a podcast thing. It's somewhere. Not they a do meltdown, it at a meltdown. I Wait, think. so it's yeah. like somebody is like Scully, and then someone's like Kirk, and they just get right. on stage together. Exactly. And it's like, and it's. I think it's also competitive. It's like competitive erotic fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> like what I'd really? like to see right. you, uh, you and Chris do a little erotic yeah, community I fan fiction. Yeah, I think we fic. can do that. Yeah, I would totally love that. And I think we should we should use your favorite characters. Like, who do you who do you want to see us do? Oh well, okay. So obviously, my favorite character. I actually am in costume right now. My favorite character is Annie. Oh, you are. You, <laughs> your name is Annie, and you're, I was going to say you're Annie. kind of dressed like Annie. Okay. Yes, it's true. It's sad, but true. Uh, I have a blog actually about uh, about Annie's costumes. It's <laughs> it's literally Annie's clothes. Is, have you had that for years and years? No, I actually just recently started it because I've been cosplaying Annie for years and years. Uh, okay. And what did so, you think about season five, Annie? I only... Oh, what did I think about season I fucking hate pants and I want them to die. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm in such a Seriously. difficult position there because I love Annie the way she always was, but I also don't want to, oh like... God. I don't want to freeze her in time. And Dresses she, and cardigans. It's it's such a winning combination. Maybe, maybe, maybe if we And just, now silk shirts? What the fuck, Dan? <laughs> like... 
I, I did want... a blog post. You know, I did a blog post of the whole season six promo that was just released, the Age of Yahoo thing. At, like almost every single frame is a silk shirt. Do you know how hot silk shirts are? Okay. Ridiculous. I will first of all I'll just say like I I was I was I n nobody was more pained than me to tell Annie to stop dressing like the way that we met her. But yeah, I felt like no. I was liking it for the wrong reasons, and so I like. <laughs> I felt like she was supposed to grow up because, and I felt like I would see people that were watching the show and like they're growing up with Annie and they're like, I didn't want her to continue to be like this thing. But okay, so here's the thing. Because your spine is collapsing yes. and because you're a good person right. and because Ugh. you see, you, you, you are, you like her for the right reasons and you have, I, I now I have the her. excuse to say, we're, we have two episodes left to do. The, the, for the finale, Annie will, will, will she'll start wearing a <gasps> mid, 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 like above the yeah, knee floral, the Okay, yeah. Wait, well, just tell us. Just dictate it and take it down, and I'll go to wardrobe. I love it. Yes! Right. Yes! We can do this. This is very this is easy. Amazing. They have a room full of clothes, and you can yeah. just dictate. I have a, I have I a, pat, I, I have a patent this paper. This is fans Annie. affecting change. Yes. So, okay, from top to bottom, what do you want? Start with the hair? Like, fucking... Actually, my only, my only real request would be that I find out where you buy her clothes. Because, oh. like, the big thing with cosplaying right now is buying the same things that they have on the show. Like, right, right. Literal, this is actually the same sweater she wore in this episode. Oh, okay. So. Uh, well, well, we can, we'll, we'll figure that so out. I'm, I'm, saying, sure, like, I'm sure Wardrobe would I mean, love gotta, to, honestly, like, they, they, you know, like, Like, literally, just, like, nice, nice dress, stuff. nice cardigan, you know, not too low cut. She's not a whore. Like, come on. But, 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 but Annie, I mean, Annie, she wore a back brace, but... You know. Annie, be specific. Like, give us a color so that when you watch that episode, you know that you actually have. Well, the I think same... it should definitely be Yahoo purple. There should definitely be yellow and purple. A Yahoo purple. You know, maybe a little Honda blue, like something. Like, yeah. like, 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 uh, like yellow, like a, like a uh, purple cardigan. Okay. Purple here. cardigan. Purple cardigan. Floral dress. Floral dress. Yeah. Uh, and bla and flats. Flats. Oh, yeah. And tights, Valley obviously. Flats. Yeah, if, if if so desired. I mean, might as well. All right. I don't want to step on anyone's toes creatively. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not going to stand in the way of. No, if, no. I think. No. All right. Uh, well, so all right. So you'll okay. see the, the, the finale, and oh that's God. our. We're, we're, this we're, is so, like a dream come so Dan, true. You, you have to remember that. You have to remember that. I, that's why. That's why. Chris. Chris has to remember that. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll tweet here. you guys. I'm, I'm, I'll remind you. I'm that your app. Very cool. so, so, so when we're all watching the finale of that season and we see Annie in purple and yellow, it's because Annie here. Yes, and because a real Annie who, who gave everything. I am so honored. Yes. All right, well, let's have a hand for Annie. Uh, Thank you. Annie! Thank you very much. You're so sweet. Thank you. I, I, I hope to God that when something bad starts happening to me, I... I uh, I can I can start to become a good person miraculously. What about rebar? What, what about rebar? I don't know. She knows she knows about that. Yeah. We didn't want to like corner her about rebar at that moment. There was another headline. It's Aaron's here. My, my wife, Aaron, get Aaron up here. McGilly! My wife. From the day I married you, I made a choice. Beep beep. To, to put your mama in the basket of the laundry and the shoot. Look at this dress. You're like a you're like a creamsicle. Thank you. I thought you were gonna say you look like a creep. <laughs> you're like a, you're a creep. like a creeper. Minecraft. A cre How does she? Oh, look are you a are you a, a, a creamsicle? You, okay. Aren't creamsicles <laughs> orange? Sorry. Are creamsicles green? Uh, creamsicles are green. Sometimes. Some, yeah. Really? No. They're the color of normal popsicles. No, they're popsicles. orange. I meant they're orange. Sorry, I got, I got, uh, I got a little distracted. How is everybody doing? Wait, no. Woo! Stop it. Creamsicles are any color they need to be, but they're defined by having cream in the middle he, of them. He's right? a millennial. I disagree. I Move think on. creamsicles are orange with uh, cream in the middle. Are all creamsicles orange? That's a very tepid there's response. There's some cherry ones, but there's not any I lime think, uh, originally it was a, <clears throat> Originally, it was an orange and white affair, but I think they might have added other flavors down the road, right? But not green, yeah. though. I, I've never seen a green creamsicle. To, and, That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so... Oh, oh, we gotta, oh, they're orange. All right, this guy. Yeah, high yeah. five. I came here in a pedicab. 
Oh, yeah? Uh, because my, I couldn't get a ride. There, oh, this, this guy's got a green creamsicle, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, creamsicle shit. Creamsicle war. <laughs> but this looks like a kind of, I don't know, that looks like some black market shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I came here in a pedicab because I, I couldn't get a ride, and the pedicab had to go across the bat bridge while people were gathering to watch the bats, and it, it, was, a, it was a nightmare, because I felt like I was like, doing some weird performance art, because I was wearing this dress. They were waiting for the bats, but you're the only thing that yeah, they're getting. Yeah, and the guy was like, excuse me, excuse me, and then I heard, uh, oh, princess, princess coming through, and, I, and I, 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 it got so bad that I started kind of like holding my leg. <laughs> just to imply that maybe yeah that, that I was hurt yeah oh what I wouldn't give for a collapsing spine oh yeah um, I'm kidding she liked it she got it she, yeah no, by she, the way a lot of Annie's clothes are from H&M yes and from oh J. J. Crew. Crew. yeah but you don't like that stuff the recent no. stuff uh, it's my fault it's my fault I'm sorry oh man Penny uh, cabs. Um, so you guys are all employees at Yahoo? <laughs> cool. Uh, I heard resounding yeses. Yeah. Great. So I know you're not. I'm just kidding. If you, if you, wanna, if you want to, can we, can we talk like, just about um, how hard it is to be married to me while I'm working on the show so that Chris can feel Tell better? me about it. Chris, Chris, <laughs> we're, we're kind of both married to Dan. Right? Chris, Chris is on his second kid. And, Work like, wife. And, uh, Aww. Our um, pilot. Like, like, I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know, like, it's a big theme of this, this year between me and Chris who are just, like, running the show without any kind of, like, we're not, like, oh, then there's that other guy that, that helps us, and so we're just kind of, like, not home at all, yeah. and uh, uh, I just wanted to uncork that entertainment fountain. <laughs> I would, I, I, I assume it's the same as being married to, like, a sailor who's off at sea. It's very similar. Yeah. When you watch the show, are you going to be Oh, like, I have not. I have not no, seen No, but I'm saying show. when you watch it, it doesn't I'm premiere saying. until March 17th on Yahoo. Uh, when you watch it, are, I'm really, there's a, there's a syndrome that happens where I haven't been home in three days, and then I can either come home for the fourth day, or I can stay and try to make the show worth not having been home for three days. So, because I keep picturing you watching the show and going, huh. <laughs> That's exactly what goes through my mind really? all the time oh, when I miss funny. my children's birthdays. <laughs> like I, I go, like I want, I'm like, oh, if she laughs a lot, then she'll forget, right? right? Yeah. That's... Or when your son Charlie is in a flop house and someone's like, "Community's on," and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's real good, isn't it? It's worth it, isn't it?" <laughs> As he's trying to hide his swastika tattoo. Oh, look, they're doing a Karate Kid joke. <laughs> Great. While, while he's Timely. getting like a Big Bang Theory tattoo on his ass or something. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Charlie McKenna is going to be like the biggest Big Bang Theory fan in the world. <laughs> I doubt I'll Just watch like, it. I was the biggest fan of World War II Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt I'll watch it with a creative eye. I'm sure I'll just be very supportive. But I will say that a couple of days ago, my dad and I were talking... And the first thing that my, like, it was it, after, like, a string of you not being home for four or five days. And, uh, Chris, I don't want to, like, belittle you not seeing your kids, but we have two dogs. And... No, those, that's more difficult than children. I know. Thank you. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> every time I feel sad that Dan's not there to see the dogs grow up, I'm like, oh, no, they're, they're, they're human beings. I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually do, like, I'm not, I'm not doing it to be, like, I... I, well, I am doing it for exactly that reason. Like, sometimes Aaron will send me the hostage pictures of the dog, you know? Like, like the dogs are being cute, and, like, yeah. just sending them. And I will just, like, copy and paste a video of your kid and put it back. But I, I, I am just... It does make me feel better. <laughs> and sad, you, more Yeah, sad his first you. time on the potty and stuff. <laughs> because dogs never learn to talk. It's harder. It is. Like, your kid's, like, slowly becoming something that can take care of himself. Oh, man. What would you do if one of our dogs did manage to talk? And you weren't there for it. I'd, Big deal. I'd be sad. The um, really quick, I was talking to my dad the other day, and my dad's like, "When it?" My, my dad is obsessed with Dan, and he's like, "When is when is Community premiering?" And this is after like five five days of you not being home, and I'm like, "Can you just not talk about her right now?" I said, "Her." <laughs> she she referred to the show as her. Um, you guys are checked out. 
It is. Yeah. It is very loud. Oh, oh, oh! You guys, uh, wait! You guys can't hear. Uh, yeah, do, well, do, do we have anybody? Okay, there's that... there's some ming there's mingling happening I think at the bar. The speakers are not pointed towards the frontest of rows. Is probably the problem. Yeah. Uh. I, I, I'm up here just, I, I was having a great time. I, I didn't know you couldn't hear me. <laughs> I was like patting myself on the back for ignoring the sound. It was like, like yeah, was, I'm, I'm such a good performer because like, I'm supposed to care about that, but they can't hear that. And, and then they're, uh, but uh, uh, you guys. I'm very, you, uh, I'm very, very excited about community and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Do you guys see that Jeff has walked off stage and is murmur, now... Murmur, 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 murmur. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. I got a treatment for a speck of a pilot of a thing. <laughs> I got a new app. It's called uh, Creepy Stone Guy on Stage. I come into your podcast. And... I just, who, who, who was it at South by Southwest that said to another person at South by Southwest, will you please meet me to talk business you can't shit back here. at the Harmontown show? Here's where it is. Hey, Dan. Hi. Here's what time it starts. Dan, I would is like Jeff, to... Dan is Jeff Davis, comptroller from Harmontown. I'm reporting live from the back of the bar. You can't <laughs> hear shit back here. Hey. It's very noisy back here, Dan. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Is huh? there, is There's there... a lot of people uh, going grumble, grumble, mumble, grumbles. How you doing back here? What's your name, miss? You, you work here, right? What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie? Uh, how old are you, Stephanie. Fuck you, Stephanie. I'm sorry. I, I, I came on too hard. I came on too hard. You guys have no booze back here? It's just beer and wine? That's terrible. That's the problem. We got to get more of that uh, top shelf booze in here and get everybody fucked up. Um, guys, it's... right now, drinks are on Stephanie. Free one, one right. round on Stephanie, everybody. A, r a round of beer it, and it's wine. It's an open bar. <laughs> it's an open bar? Yeah, I think that's the problem. Oh. Mumbling, well, mumbling riff raffer, mumbling in. They got quiet. It's not gonna last long. It's a, no, you get, you push down on it like a cyst, and it drains, and then <laughs> it fills they're, back up. They're having their cake and eating it too. They're listening to the podcast, kind of, and then I, it's I, like but I didn't know. I, but I don't mention it because I didn't think. I, I thought I would be being selfish by mentioning it because I thought only from my last experience. I thought it's something that I can hear, but that they can't hear. I I, I could talk about this all day. Um, <laughs> So, uh, anyways, uh, community is gonna be bad, and it's okay because I love you. <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. Dan, it's how are you gonna how are you gonna make it up to her when when the community's done being written? What are you gonna do to make it up all the time that you've missed together? Well, now that I have the I'm dressing Annie for Annie, like I think I, I kind of. Yeah, can like... I make a request? Can you come home for dinner once a year? <laughs> Is that okay? On the finale of Community, can you hug me? <laughs> Fine. But Dan, will you also wear a purple cardigan and a yellow floral dress? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, it's very, it's very fun. Thank you. What is your name? And do you have a job that keeps you uh, away all week? Oh, hi, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giggling because he was answer answering earnestly. Um, yeah, it's great. He's doing great. Uh, I, I can't imagine a world where I watch community looking for some reason why. That's not, that's silly. It's going to be great. I mean, it's my favorite show. I love how it's about just like friends playing pranks and there's the, the Asian guy that's a ghost and um, there's, there's the school girl who has a split personality. It's a, sometimes a black woman and sometimes a blonde woman and it's just fascinating. It's like no exit. You're John Paul Sartre. Uh, I tell her stuff about the show that you guys don't know. <laughs> Uh, the whole thing is taking place in a, uh, a bag of Purell that, <laughs> at the end of it, Bob Greenblatt wipes his hands with it and goes, ew. Uh. That's the finale. Sorry. Spoilers. How do you uh, feel about Purell, everybody on stage? I don't believe... I feel I don't believe... like it doesn't belong in bags. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in germs. I don't like germophobia. Mm. I think it's silly. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, what? What? You don't believe in germs? Well, I don't. I don't believe in. I don't believe in making room for them in society. I don't. I, I think that human beings are 
primates, we've been here a really long time. We were born into a world of germs. We have them all over our body. And when we disinfect each other and ourselves like compulsively, we actually are only just we're just we're just moving sand around a beach and kind of making a problem. Because this is you're... very interesting coming from the man who will only drink bottled water. <laughs> he Wait, didn't give different... me the same speech when my five month old had the croup. <laughs> I heard she had the croup. I wasn't there, but but I, I was. <laughs> But I'm that's not kidding. that's not that's not the same as being scared of germs. No, no, like, I, like, no it's a, it's a, it's insane. We're all we're all constantly. Go, when you go into the bathroom and there's like, uh, I, I don't, I bet this doesn't happen so... in the women's room, but there's like in the men's room, there's always like a ragged, grody, like uh, threaded hand towel threaded through the door handle by some jackass that was there before you who thought that he was the most important person in the world and that you were a piece of filth and that's it so he's not going to touch the bathroom door i don't understand what you mean the bathroom that when you leave the men's a stall, room a stall door no no, no the, the, the door, the bathroom the door. door. So there's like this, he doesn't care about his fucking gross napkin th- like hanging and, and, and being on the floor. Like the bathroom's a shit sty because people who are afraid of germs, they license themselves to make everything f- disgusting and filthy. There's like, like crap and piss everywhere because everyone's not sitting on the toilet seat and spraying their gross poop everywhere. So you put your fucking ass on the piece of plastic that you share with the person next to you. They're not a monster. It's ger- you are a germ. You're made of germs. It's like, like you, you, you're, you're, a, you're a blob of flesh and blood. You crawled out of the ocean. You carry it with you. You're festooned with mites and, and, and lice and fucking microbugs. And uh, Micro- grow up and get over yourself and share, share with others. I don't mind germophobia unless it's somebody's, like, identity or personality when they make it, like, a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no one wants to hang out with someone who's defined by their fear of anything, really. I do have a problem though. Like, <clears throat> I, I do spend a lot of time in bars, and uh, these guys don't wash their hands. And then, but those same guys, they see you, they go, "Hey, Jeff," and they're just determined to shake your hand. I, I just saw you grab your dick and not wash your hands. I, I don't want to shake your fucking hand. That's gross, huh? I'll touch your dick, fine. If you want him to touch your dick, he'll absolutely. T- well, he's coming up to make you touch his dick. <laughs> Me, you, Annie, we're gonna dry hump. We're gonna touch your dick. It's gonna be great. Should we? Uh, should we? I, 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 is a, there's a human being here. Do you, should should you come up here just to? Because you probably. So so Dan, talk about the creation of the human being. I wasn't there for it. I always I was always obsessed with the idea of race. Believe it or not. And the idea of racism uh, being uh, something that people want to avoid, and then uh, the idea of avoiding racism slowly becoming the most racist activity you could ever engage in, because you have to start actually talking about race as if it's like this palette of paint. So I, 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 I and, and like people are like, we have to, yeah, I don't know. I was just always fascinated with it. Oh no! Oh nice! Oh, he can't. He can't talk. He Six thousand uh, fan points yeah. for his <laughs> refusal to speak. Uh, genuinely, genuinely afraid. <laughs> well, it's supposed to. That's that's the neat thing, isn't it? The, yeah. No, it is. It's very. It's I, a neat I, thing, but it it's a, it's effective. It is. <laughs> it is really scary. For those of you here tonight who haven't seen the show, <laughs> I uh, don't like it. it's a really I like funny it. joke I that I that I wrote once <laughs> and. Uh, it's uh, funny. <laughs> It'd be funny if all these people talking were guerrilla marketers for community. That's what they're, they're, they're all going like, you got to check out the show. It's a good show. You know the show he's talking about? Oh, yeah. It's certainly that. It's feet season one. Dial soap. Dial soap. Dial soap. What? Who's that guy? Get him! <laughs> my, my question about the people that are here at this they're bar. Flirting, what, they're they're over there. Is, this, is this their favorite bar and they're just mad that a podcast is This is their cheers, Open yeah. bar is their favorite bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they found an open bar and they're not leaving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down to the pub, love. I'll, I'll be back after a pint. Oh, oh hey, hey, be careful. You know they're doing a podcast down there tonight. Oh, love. No, no, sweetheart. You know how you get when you go down the pub and, you, and there's a podcast going on. You're in the back. Just That's keep it fine. We can all live together. I oh, just Andy, want me pint. Andy, no. Don't forget your lanyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Forgot me lanyard. <laughs> oh, a bit of the same, Miguel. Oh, Andy, how you doing tonight, my friend? Oh, good, Miguel. 
Yeah. I'm the Spanish Scottish guy. <laughs> oh, what's all this then? Oh, they're doing, they're doing a podcast. <laughs> as they tend to do during South by Southwest. <laughs> when will it end? When can you stay Mr. Days? You could just be a publican and have a bar. And the people could come in and have a drink. And there wouldn't have been any podcasting going on. <laughs> I, you know, sorry. Sorry to cut off your, uh, your improv there. I feel like this guy probably doesn't watch Community. Do you watch Community? What was your favorite character? I'm not allowed to say it. This is a different guy than before. I'm not saying this was the same guy. I'm saying this is a guy who doesn't watch Community. This, Wait, you, this, this, this is the podcast. This is, this, is a, this is an insane turn. Time out. Okay, so I'll speak for the human being. He's saying time out. So are you a fan of Community? I don't. What? <laughs> no, come on. We gotta get, let him whisper to you. No, you can whisper. To, you can whisper to me. I mean, <laughs> I just feel like this would be. Okay. <laughs> just, this would be the easiest way to murder us. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, the human being's favorite character is, uh, character is Abed. Human not being, a real you, character. Not a real character. You're just making that up. Human, human being, can I translate your your physical movement? So, Spencer, do you have a question for a human being? Uh, yeah. Look towards me. I'm your translator. <laughs> but don't look right at me. Just like, look. <laughs> this is how I die. Uh, I mean, he's not carrying any weapons. We'd be able to tell. I know, but he Ouch. Can take... <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> this is the podcast. Uh, human being, why is, why is Abed your favorite character? Can you explain through movement to me? Well, where do I begin? Let's see, how do I make this make sense? Through a lot of time and squares. Back in the beginning of time. Oh, angry, everybody else understands. Uh, talking, talking about the past and about our stories, our personal, let's go back a little bit, Aaron, you dumb bitch. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Aaron. I'm out. No, I'm back. All right. Talking about TV. I like how he talks about TV and he uses TV to uh, reflect human interactions and it makes me feel more human. <laughs> Uh, you're going to die at midnight. That's what he does. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> Let's have a hand for human being number human seven. Being. Thank you, sir. Madam, I'm human being. Human being. Uh, do you think there's something to the idea of that box that he was miming, the television, Abed's proclivity for, or propensity or need to... Uh, study humanity through that lens, the idea of separation, the idea of nylon fetishry, the idea of the idea of the body being like encased in like a kind of coating of safe material. I don't know. Yes. Tactile, like squeeze machines, Temple Grandin. It's Letter all coming shirts. together. What's a squeeze machine? Temple Grandin you, created see the, these. you haven't seen the Temple Grandin HBO movie? What's Temple Grandin? Oh, bro. Uh, it's the bro. best bar in Austin. Uh, <laughs> it is amazing. You, you go been inside, to Temple Grandin on Rainy to, Street? Uh, you don't have to talk to anybody. You just go in and you get wrapped in gauze and, and people pour <laughs> drinks on you. Uh, uh, Temple Grandin is a is When a you first go in there, they tell you you can't drink. have a drink because the Excellent. drink you're ordering has never been heard of before, but then you people start to believe in you because your brain just thinks <laughs> Different? Temple Grandin changed the way that we treat animals in slaughterhouses and did a lot. Well, wait, didn't Upton Sinclair do that? Uh, well, no, in a up way. He just pointed it out and then he was like, goodbye! <laughs> um, okay. no, Upton, Upton Sinclair was about protecting people from the health uh, uh, issues. Right, and, right. Uh, Meatpacking. The, the Temple Grandin actually was saying, like, the, we are being enormously cruel to these uh, animals and it's costing us money. It's, well, it's, it's, <laughs> 
And it's she, a good and thing she, we fixed all those a, problems. She's a there. savant and a, an amazing genius who has done a lot. Those balloons in the back are really cool. They're yeah. like, like how, dipping dots. They the say community. Dan isn't up to Sinclair, kind of uh, more like kind of like the Purell of the meatpacking industry. Uh, you, mm. did, didn't he kind of do away? Yeah, with he was germs? afraid of germs. Yes. Yeah, yes. So mm. There's uh, some germs. Some germs are bad when you're eating. Oh, <laughs> that's that right. <laughs> You came okay. out pretty hard on on, on germ people I earlier. Just, yeah, I just mean the like the every day. If you're if you're if you're out and about like and you die of a germ, I'll give you a million dollars. Does that include everything? Yeah. Every kind of, okay. Like if you find, go in the bathroom right now with a Q-tip, rub the Q-tip on any toilet seat, uh, and put it in it. a petri dish and see what grows. Yeah. Then take the same Q-tip, well not the same one. Um, take a different Q-tip, rub it on your armpit, rub that in a petri dish. Dan doesn't and know fucking, about Ebola or. Um, I know about Ebola. It doesn't fucking. It's not going to be on a toilet seat. It doesn't. It doesn't. They, 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 these things that kill you, they they live in. Side liquid, you know, they cannot. Like that's why in those sci-fi movies about everyone dying, they have to go airborne. Like it's a big thing. All right, whatever you guys, be afraid. Everyone, be afraid. See what? where it gets you. <laughs> what, remember super volcanoes? Dan, remember, when not... we, remember that week? Oh, there's a super volcano under Yellowstone. Who gives a shit? Like, like what? What are you gonna die happy? Dan, as as somebody who shares a bed with you, can I request that you? that you don't lick anything out of a toilet seat or that you take a little bit of care, even if you don't believe in it. I, I yes. I'll By the way, Dan and I share a couch. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, also, you got dressed together this morning and you look great. <laughs> you look good. All right, so uh, do, do, we, do we play Shadowrun in a, in a, in a, in a weird... Uh, Echoey barn. We're gonna have to play a high energy shadow run to 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 to, uh, to uh, match the, the room tone in here. I'm up in the air about this, just as a producer of a podcast. At the very least, they think we should hold off a bit, like maybe get some some raps out of the way, <laughs> and then do like a bit a bit a bit a, br- a big burst of role playing. That's re- really high energy. Yeah. All right. Seriously. All right. I'm gonna do the best fucking rap. Like 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 like. <laughs> Like it's not it's not a joke. I'm gonna I'm gonna rap. It's gonna be the best rap. Everyone's gonna freak out. But I can't think about it. Just like it's gonna be so good because he's, you're gonna be like he didn't think about it. It's just just empty your head and don't like. Dan, and all right. A, a suggestion, Dan. No, don't make a suggestion. No, 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 no not not a, not a lyrical suggestion. Oh. Uh, a physical suggestion that possibly. Like last time when you were rapping out in the street, remember? You, yeah. Maybe test how far are the limits of this microphone. Do, do, okay. do we know how far the signal? How all far right. will that receiver go? Okay. All right. Just to the back of the seats. Oh, we have well, someone that knows that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. All right, Dan. <laughs> we'll see. Are you ready, Dan? Yo, uh. yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I got the flow in the science. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got Get the ready for the best yeah. rap Dan yeah. Harmon has ever yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. 2015, yeah. South by Southwest, yeah. Austin, yeah. Texas. Storm clouds, lightning, rain. I fucked your mama till I felt the pain. I walked the streets, I saw your dad. I said, fucked your mama and it wasn't bad. He said, you and I, we should be friends. We could be friends until the end because we both fucked your mama and she's my wife. So now I fuck your mama all my life and we, we're both married to your mom. I'm talking about Major Tom level sci fi blasting off into the space. Fuck your mama in her eye and everything on her face. That sounded gross. I'm so sorry. Yo, yo. My name is Kevin Johnson. I am a different character. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I'm Kevin Johnson. What? Strange development. My name is Kevin Johnson and I'm here to say every rap that I do is in a Kevin way. I go hip to the hop, to the Kevin, to the tip. I fucked your mama from her nose to her lip. (sighs) Kevin Johnson, not much different, just a lower octave. Get out of here. Austin style, Texas, sand, 
cactus, big land. Houston, suck my dick. Yeah, don't have to rhyme when they applaud. Houston can suck my dick. Dallas, fuck you. You're just a TV show. I fucked your mama so hard that she enjoyed it. We're dating now. We're committed. I truly love her. I'm committed to her. It's going beyond sexuality. I don't even care anymore. I consider your mama a fucking partner in my life. If she got sick, I would never leave. I fucked your mama so hard, she, 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 I would never leave her. She's my partner. Sometimes she goes to the bathroom at an airport and I look at her photo. I miss her so much. I fucking love your mama. I would spend my life f fucking her. Dan Harmon, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to look back at the standing O. I'm not, I don't even... Uh, oh, shit. They sat quickly. That was great. Yeah. I, just, I know I've graduated. I've graduated physically to a new thing where I don't bother to try to. I, I, I did you ever notice that I, I, I used to like used to go like that, but now I'm just slowly. I go like this. No, I have a toddler. Like, I know. I, I recognize it. You get you get you, you, as you get older, like you start to treat ledges like big stairs, <laughs> because it's the way to preserve your dignity. Like you could, because if I were to like. If I were to go into committing to it being a thing, I would be like, then I would go like this. <laughs> and then I'd be like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm just gonna do it Louis Anderson style now. I, I, I like that it's, it, Kanye, it's only Kanye. at that moment that you chose to preserve your dignity for us. Yeah, they, thank you. Well, I mean, these things go on in your head. They don't, they don't reflect reality. <sighs> um, pretty nice set. Dan, do you wanna do some stand up uh, set riffing? You wanna riff the set for us? I want to take advantage of the set with a good musical cue. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron uh, clear their sight lines. Okay. You, Here you we go. Rap, you want to rap me? What do you want to? Something uh, dramatic and sci-fi. Sci-fi? All right. How about... From the beginning of the quantum cosmos, entertainment has subsisted on one wavelength alone. The division between entertainer and the entertained. Now that barrier is shattered with a new show. One reaching into your mind, making you part of the wonderment. That's not really going anywhere. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. You are losing your craving for cigarettes. You are thinking about stepping outside for a smoke. This device has no power over you. You are a sexual assertive being. Your board meeting is going to go well, whether or not you eat the bagel. You can be thin. You can be decisive. You can run a company. You just aren't yet. Don't smoke. Stop eating. Skip the ranch. Seize the day. No, I'm sorry. I thought that was building to like a thing. Futuristic uh, weight loss, anti-smoking guy. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That was entertainment. Well, I think I think four people actually went out to get a smoke during that. I, I made them think about it. I thought about it. I quit smoking when I was 32. <clears throat> Remember smoking? Who smokes here? Yay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we took a photo together earlier in the day. <laughs> I, 
I don't even, I don't think, I think it was in your other hand. He's just trying to play to the crowd. Yeah. No, you're cool, man. He's cool. Everyone give him stuff. <laughs> All right, what's a thing you can do with this many people that you can't do? Like, Let's play Duck, of... Duck, Goose. <laughs> Some World. people want to play Duck, Duck, Goose. It's the worst game ever made. I, 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 I want to see if you could... Body, if you could crowd surf all the way down one row and then all the way back up the other side. No, we can't, we can't crowd surf. With the, uh, uh, Not with that attitude, you can't. You could conduct an orchestra you could assign. You could do right. that, that summer camp thing. That's what I was thinking is like, like, you guys are really into Snickers, but you guys are really into Doritos. <laughs> Sn- I don't know. The, not unless they pay us. <sighs> um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure out a, an ending point so we can, uh, we can move on with our celebration of community. Well, we're, we're moments away from playing Shadowrun. I know, but we have to, we have to just commit to making it a really high energy chapter of Shadowrun, right? Yeah. Because well, last time I think we just got in the car and went to a thing. We didn't do shit. I right? mean, you did. I don't know. It's, let's not dwell on the past. It's true. So this is like an action set piece uh, for playing Shadowrun because we just pulled away from the... Well, I don't want to tell Spencer's business. Yeah, what are we talking about? Mm. I'm... You just, there's a lot of com- competition from the, from the infuse, infusion bar. I know. Why, why don't you guys sell drinks? I just, I appreci- I just don't sleep. think the shushing helps. I mean, I, I appreciate the sentiment. It just doesn't yeah, seem do effective it. is the only yeah. thing. It's okay. People Wait, are what's your name? Fun. Jessica has volunteered to go over to the bar and yell at people. Let's hear it for Jessica, everybody. <laughs> Jessica is circling around back. The bar. <laughs> I mean... I, just, I don't want to be a, a defeatist, but I want to point out that this is why our show had low ratings, is because you're always hearing from the person that's telling you to take it more seriously. You know, and then, like, Parks and Rec, you can just hang out, talk, and watch it. Hey, Come on. I'd like a drink, and I love Parks and Rec. And then it's like, no, shut up, listen! <laughs> Fuck you. Flip. <sighs> All right. J- Jessica, don't give up yet. You're doing good. You've a look. You, you've done good. Jessica. Jessica. Get over there, Jessica. Make some enemies. Make people upset with you. Oh, wait. Oh, she's got help. We have another woman coming to help her. Why don't, hey, Dan, why don't we all go to the bar and do the show over there? Why don't we all take everybody over to the bar and we'll just all go to the well, bar? Well, I th- would think that they would come over here and talk. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes up like, guys, do you mind? Really? I think, I think that... Uh, uh, my spine and my enthusiasm is collapsing right now. The thing, I think the thing to do would be the opposite of telling them not to talk. The thing to do would probably go down there and... Tell them to talk. Okay. I will, oh, okay. All right. All right. Or, or, or Welcome find, or to find out what they're about. Secrets and Lies, featuring the people of the bar. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, what gentlemen. Are hey, that? are you guys talking about apps? We are. You are? What kind of apps do you have? Well, we're about to Instagram a picture of all y'all on the stage. Great, great. Keep it down. Hi. Hi. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> Uh, you, you look like you're in a rock band. Are you in a rock band? Or? Yeah, actually I am. What's the name of your band? Um, yeah, the Funk Master. Cool, keep it down. <laughs> All right. Now you guys, I think, I think that covers it. Wait, where's the rumbling? There's rumbling back here. Hey, 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 where are your kids? I don't have kids. Well, exactly. I don't know, keep it down. You guys are doing great. You're beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> but you at any time could be on the show bar time. All right. Yes. All right. I, I mean, it, it, 
I think it works, but it's 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 gonna it's gonna the, the, the half life. Wait, of that what was the way that you got up? Short. Yeah, yeah. Is well, the, I have to fill see, that tongue oh, with oh, oh, no. oh, baby. Oh no. Oh. 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 And I can't bend down to help her. <laughs> I, dry hump. Dry hump opportunity. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good job, baby. All go. right. That we've cleared. We've cleared. Now that we've gotten that kind of silence, let's earn it with our 9/11 uh, song. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I, I think I just made it worse. Maybe I was a little mean, and now they're like, "What the fuck if, was that?" If you're, if you're talking about. during this, then you're glad 9/11 it's okay. happened. It's okay. They're having a good time. <laughs> they're because I'm singing a, a 9/11 song. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Don't come down, stay up, stay towers, why can't it be 910 again, why did it ever be 911 and 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 Freedom, speech, terrors, reach. Pakistan must be behind this. Foreign strife, liberated life. I'm calling to you, but I can't hear your name tonight. Why can't you be nine ten again? Nine eleven. When will you be nine twelve? When will life a strawberry? Dan, is this going to go on for a long time? Because I don't want to be on stage for this. I do not like this. Evil. <laughs> Get back in the zone. Yes. Space. 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 Rocket. Vaccinations, leukemia, cancer, AIDS, 9-11, don't talk during this, it sends a message to your children, what will we leave behind if we talk during the 9-11 segment of a show? Will we be changed or will we grow? I want to touch God's body. I want to be Trent Reznor. I want to touch your body. I want to name your eleven. What if we're all animals inside? What if fucking in Jesus open wide? Offensive things are good. Offensive things are art. I want a nine, you're eleven. I want a nine, your heart. Nine, eleven. Vaccines. 
all chisel. <laughs> All right, should we do like a... Thanks, guys. Thank you. I love it. See, you wouldn't have fought so hard to uh, prove me wrong if I hadn't said so, anything. That was a... That is a 37% standing ovation. Uh, <laughs> that's the 37% that's going to keep us on the air, buddy. Or, or that's the 30% of, the, of our audience that can hear what we're doing up here. <laughs> this is like pockets of weird acoustics. I, I would have preferred if everyone, have, everyone had stood up just 37%. <laughs> can you guys do that right now? Yeah. Standing crouch. <laughs> Standing crouch. Uh, Wait. There nice. we go. See? That, wow. was, that was easily 60 plus did, percent. Did you, did you say, Dan, at one point that you want to touch God's pony? His, his body. Oh, that's what did you think I said? I think you want to touch God's pony. Oh, <laughs> God's pony. That's cute. That's how good. Do you, how do you nine someone's 11? I, I mean, I, I, know that you want to, I know that you want to nine my 11, but I, what, physically, what is the procedure? And now the suits come out and they want their explanations. <laughs> And they want their affidavits, but it's fucking art. You don't explain it, you spit it, and you move on, or else people die. I don't know what it means, Grandpa. I'm just saying, before I sign up for having my 11 nined, I want to know exactly what I'm signing up for. You'll know. You'll know what's going to happen tonight. Could you, can you 11 a 9? Could you go backwards and re reverse engineer? Uh, yeah. a, 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 a yes. 11? I'm going to 11 your 9 tonight. Well, that's, that's, that's how they say that, That's how that song is released in Europe. Because they, they just get confused because it's no, not because, that. Because they, they, call, they would call September 11th 11 9. Oh, that's right. They would have. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So there they would. You, you no would one's ever your... talked about that. <laughs> they must be so confused. Yeah, yeah. On November 9th. What happened? What happened? Like, they seem to be just hanging out. <laughs> Apparently not that big a deal to them. Wait, on 9-11, is there visual celebrations that Europeans would see? <laughs> yeah, you know, like... Everyone's like, yeah, and the towers fall again. I thought it was great. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> Now, was, was that you doing Trent Reznor or Jim Morrison? It was kind of somewhere in between. I there. don't know what it was, but it came through me, and it, it was fucking, fucking amazing. You got... Uh, you garnered... It, well, you garnered... Have we ever had standing ovations during a show before? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that we have. No, yeah. unless you count the, uh, the uh, Oscars uh, that I won an Emmy for. <laughs> that got a standing ovation. Oh! <laughs> there was at the Bell That wasn't House. really me performing. That was Hugh Jackman doing what I wrote. But... Every, every, Sean Penn stood up, and he doesn't even like the country, so it's like, kind of found his joy. All right, Dan, I, I say, Spencer, let, let's, let's play some, uh, some badass, high-action shadow. Oh, you have a question, sir? Yeah. Hang on, wait, come on, what's up? What's up? I'm sorry, um, you brought up Sean Penn? You brought up Sean Penn, and I, I'm Mexican, so I really want to know what you thought of what he said during the Oscars. And furthermore, I would like to know what you think about drug dealing in Mexico. This, uh, this guy's Mexican, and he wanted to know uh, what, what did Sean Penn say? Are you talking about like the this? The, when he, the, when he said that he made the joke about the guy had, uh, doesn't have a green card or something like that. Yeah, but, like, I didn't. Green card. I, he was just joking, right? He was just he was just yeah. I think they were just pals. Yeah. Do you want to come up here and talk about it? Because you can. Mexican Armenian. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, you, you didn't even do the knee crawl. He just stood right up. Is this, so you, you, oh. you uh, so you were. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that part of the Oscars. So Sean Penn made a joke. It was an you offensive. Didn't, you didn't to, see the last award, the best movie award. I wasn't up for anything. And fair enough. Fair enough. What did Sean Penn made? Did he just make an offhand joke, or was he being political? Well, I think it was an offhand joke. But there was so much debate on Twitter that he was super racist and whatever. Oh, he was well. just like, "Who gave this guy a green card?" It sounded card? like to me that he. I think he even knows the guy, and he was making a joke about how hard we are on immigration. He's like, "Yeah, this guy doesn't even have a green card." Whoa! Like, like I think. He was making a, like he was making, he was being ironic, right? He was doing a bit, yeah. like he was doing his impression of a conservative. Yeah. Right. I think Remember was, yeah. when we forgave him for beating the shit out of Madonna? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Madonna. 
I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, what was your name? Sorry, I didn't get your name. Eric. Eric. We've met three times. <laughs> Where's your green card? <laughs> 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 actually, actually, last time I asked you about uh, your advice on me trying to get a green card so I could stay here and work, you said, you know, sometimes you'll just have to admit that maybe you'll die under a bridge, but you'll die doing what you love. That's yes. what you said to me. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think you kind of... Eric, everybody! Eric, together. thank you so much, sir. Yeah. All right. Eric, 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 Eric the Mexican. Is that politically incorrect? To... Eric. It's Eric, a nationality. El it's... Mexicano. Mucho gusto, señor. Siéntate. All right, Spencer. Uh, do, yeah. we have, uh, do we have our character sheets? Oh, I got them. Or should we just freestyle without it? Should we just, should we just go like, like from the hip, shoot from the no, hip? No, no, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it by the books. Okay. By the All way, right. what, I, what, I, what I meant was you got to imagine yourself dying under a bridge doing what you love, and if that's okay with you, then you should keep doing what you're doing. Dan, have you, have you ever had fantasies about being in a band? Or fronting a band? Fa fa you being in, you, you about me in a band? <laughs> yes, have you ever had a, a fantasy about being in a band? <laughs> Sorry. What these people at the bar don't know is that they're really going to be missing out on, a, on four people playing a role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertainment we're gonna, dynamite. We're going to make it amazing, though. It's a jungle over there. All right, Spencer, All right, are you good to go on this? Uh, uh, sure, yeah. All right, so I, I guess... Uh, Chris is going to be playing uh, Dr. Friend, I imagine? Yeah, Chris okay. is playing Dr. Friend. All right, you guys ready for some fucking hard-ass... <laughs> Take no prisoners, futuristic RPG bullshit, Austin, Texas style? Yeah. All right. Spencer, if you would, would you please get us up to speed? Yep. It's just bursting through. <laughs> Today's Harmontown recap was brought to you by Twitter user Let's Be Sapid. Last time on Harmontown Shadowrun, our heroes continued their quest to capture Baldwin Brown as they drove their truck full of BTL chips to a small wooden house led by Eve's spirit eagle. Upon arrival, Eve's attempt to astrally project into the house was thwarted by a strong mana barrier. The fearless Jim Nightblade, the charming Mercy O'Donnell, and foreign Hordegard took matters into their own hands. The threesome infiltrated the rickety old house, only to be met with a rickety old woman. Hortigard distracted the woman as Mercy and Nightblade entered the basement to find two sleeping figures. Meanwhile, back at the truck, Eve and Dr. Friends explored their real feelings for each other and shared a tender kiss while the Johnson sat by awkwardly. Will our gang find Baldwin Brown? Will Hortigard enjoy coffee with the old woman? What will happen to Eve and Dr. Friend's budding relationship? Find out on Harmon Run Shadow Town. All right. So, again, just to give credit where credit's due, a guy on Twitter named Let's Me Sapid wrote that for me. So I didn't Whoa. write it. Oh, cool. So that's Very a new cool. thing. If you can write a Shadowrun recap. Yeah, if you want to write a Shadowrun recap and it's good, I'll read it because uh, it's, it's extra work that I won't have to do. That's great. That's, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. All right. So uh, who's in the house right now? So right now we have Jim Nightblade and Mercy in the house as well as Hortigard, who doesn't exist. So... Jim Nightblade and Mercy O'Donnell are downstairs in the basement. They're peering into a darkened room where two sleeping figures appear to be sleeping. Uh, Meanwhile, I... Eve and Friend are in the truck outside of the house. Who am I with? You're with uh, Jeff Davis. Eve. Uh, I, I, I get on the comm link and I, I say, Mercy, Nightblade, yeah. What's, yeah. What's, what's going on in the house? Give me, your, uh, give me the situation. All right, we got two dozers underground. We haven't discussed what to do yet, but I think we should uh, calmly rouse them. I'm, I'm gonna take a closer look at them. Okay. <laughs> you right. take a closer look at them. They don't seem to be moving. You just see, it looks kind of like uh, just these still figures next to each other in bed, almost like uh, rows of dirt. Okay, they... I, I blow really hard in their faces. Uh, okay. <laughs> they wake up with a start. Huh, what? Ah, 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 ah. 
Can yeah. you start screaming? They're I, screaming. I stun them. I uh, stun baton. All <laughs> right. What's uh, what's your clubs versus plus agility? God damn it. You can't. What do they look like, Spencer? They look like an old balding man and a young goatee wearing boy. I mean, Why? not boy, teenager. I don't Interesting. know. Interesting. I'm sorry, say again, a, t- a teenager with a what? 20, 20 year old guy with a goatee and a balding man. You want, it's fucking Baldwin, God damn it, what? Do they uh, look uh, healthy? Clubs, clubs three, unarmed three, is that what you want? No, agility is the other one. Agility That's five, five, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. You hit him right in the thing. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't seem to be bothered by it. He's just sleepy. He's getting stunned. He's like, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Is it Baldwin Brown? Uh, yeah. Uh, gentlemen, okay, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use con. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, we've been we've been sent here uh, by Brian McMahon. What God, what's his name? What? It's Baldwin Brown. Baldwin Brown. We've been sent here by Baldwin Brown, uh, but we can't find him. Can you tell us where he is? That's me, and you're never going to catch me alive. Drone, oh, attack. Attack, yeah. drone, attack. Yeah. Wait, okay, so is the young guy a drone? What? The old man's a drone. No. Who is talking? The old man. The old man. Baldwin Brown is the guy you're talking to. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just realized. Did okay. we all know that? Yeah. Don't cover the mic with your hand. Did we all know that? No, we you found see out. a metallic okay. sphere float up into the air. It must be this drone. It, it turns a turret towards you, Mercy, and it fires fires several bullets. Uh-oh. Oh, um, but you dodge. You dodge nimbly out of the way of the drone. Huh. Uh, I, I t- run out of the room. <laughs> okay, you but run I'm out not... of the room. Right. Leaving Nightblade alone. Can I shoot it? The drone? Yeah. Yeah. What's your uh, pistols plus agility? Pistols is two plus two. Agility is five. All right. You hit the drone and you pierce its, uh, what do you call it, armor shell. The bullet, you hear it reflecting inside the armor shell of the machine and the drone falls to the ground with a crash. It must have been pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just, like, like I just want to restrain this guy immediately. Okay, like, bald, yeah, okay. Like, you start grappling with Baldwin Brown, and you go to the floor. You're rolling around each other, and the goatee-wearing guy is all like, all right, you motherfuckers, knock this off right now, or I'm gassing this whole place. No fighting, no fighting in here. No fighting, no fighting, bitch. If I stop fighting, are you going to drone me? No, the, you, you killed the drone, bitch. Okay, can I, from, can I run back in and use my wireless knife on the kid? Uh, do you just want to, like, stab him with it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your knives, or what's your blades plus agility? Um, so it's, so the wireless knife thing is 3P... No, five? your blade skill, it's a skill. Oh, blade skill, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, four, and my agility is six. Okay. You stab at him with the knife, but with an inhuman cyborg-like reflex, he, dr- he jumps to the side faster than your eyes can see, Uh-oh. and he disarms the blade. Now he's holding the knife. All I right, got the knife, bitch. Stop it. Everybody cool it. Cool it. I'm getting off of Baldwin Brown, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm raising my hands. Meanwhile, in the truck, guy, uh, doctor, we should get in there. It sounds like they're having trouble in there. You sure you don't need some healing? You don't need any healing? Um, yeah, yeah, you, you could heal me a bit. I, I, I could, I could, I could take a bit of quick healing. Can I heal Eve a little? Yeah, Eve is healed for a bit of damage. <laughs> right, I healed okay. you. Okay, you know, Doc. You're no fighter. We need, we need you alive. Stay in the truck. Guard the, guard the BTL chips. I'm going in. I run, I run toward the house. <laughs> All right. You enter the house. You see an old lady sitting on the couch in the front room enjoying a coffee with a dwarf. Oh, Hortigard. Oh, I, 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 have some, I, I taste some of the coffee. <laughs> All right. I go downstairs in the basement. Okay. You see what's happening. You see Baldwin Brown and Dan kind of, or not Dan, sorry. Sorry, Dan. Jim Nightblade staring at each other like something's going to go down. 
and you see a young man with a goatee holding a knife as if he's going to attack people with it. Hey, guys, this is Baldwin Brown. Let's get this motherfucker and get the fuck out of here. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, can I, can I use negotiation? Yeah, what are you trying to negotiate? Uh, a sit down. Okay. Say, say words to that effect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Come on, we're all, we're all doing the same thing here. Let's just calm down, put down the knife, and let's talk for a second, all right? I'm gonna calm down, but I'm not gonna put down the knife. I feel like you fair, just- Fair, yeah, okay. fair, fair. So well, let's talk. All right, what, what are you doing here? Uh, we would like to have a moment alone with Mr. Brown. This is my house, bitch. You're in my basement. Well, we're, we, we can take him outside to outside your house. I don't think he wants that. All right, so here's the thing. I have a gun which shoots the equivalent of tiny knives. And uh-huh. you're holding the only bullet that you have. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, I don't want to... The reason why I got off of your friend is because I don't think that we have to do... We, we have to kill each other in order to resolve this. Well, I just feel like, you know, when you start fights while we're sleeping, your intentions might be other than hey, that. Hey, Nightblade, why are we talking with these guys? Let's just take uh, Nightblade and get, get, get him out of here. Uh, I, I shoot a Force 5 stun bolt at the, at the, at the guy with a knife. At the guy with a knife? Oh, yeah! All right, you hit him right in the face with a stun bolt. He goes down cold. Yeah. All right. I stand over his stunned body and go, who's the bitch now, bitch? (laughs) And I take his knife and I throw it into a dartboard and it's a bullseye and I go, fuck yeah. (laughs) And then I sheepishly take it out because it's mine and I put it back in my bag. I feel like my healing helped. (laughs) (laughs) Do I have... Over over the comm, like I say, thanks, Doc. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Do Do you need a death touch for anything? Not just yet. Okay. Do I have like do I have like zip cuffs or anything like that? Can I? Put uh, it? No. One of you might have uh, handcuffs or something. I don't. And there's always rope. I've got rope. I toss Nightblade some rope. All right. I use the rope to uh, fake cuff him. You use the rope. Oh, uh, can I use a taser dart? Uh, sure. Okay. I take a taser dart and I and I. Try to put it in, uh, in uh, McMahon's. Wait, we can talk about this. We can okay. talk about this. All right. I, you don't have to taser dart me. All right, so we're cool? Can we? I mean, no, I'm tied up in my, my friend's house, and you well, just knocked him right, out. Well, we we're going to solve that problem. You're coming with yeah. us. Let's get him in the truck and get the hell out of here. We got to get to that. Johnson will be pleased. Johnson's waiting in the truck for us. We'll get our money and we'll be done with this crap. Let's okay, go. Okay, and I use, I use my skill of uh, etiquette. And I, and I say to him, like, it's going to be fine. We're going to take care of you. Just, just be cool. And we'll be cool. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm resigned to this. All right. He's resigned. All right. All right. Let's, let's get him out of the truck. Get... We'll give them the bald one. They can take the truck, the BTLs. We'll get, we'll get an Uber home. You head back to the truck where you meet with Johnson. He's like, uh, hi, hey. Hey. You Here got- he is, Johnson. We got your man. We got your BTLs. Yeah. I guess that's uh, mission accomplished. We, right? did our, we did our job. Right? <laughs> yeah, and it's only... I'm, I'm really plow- proud of staying in the truck and helping you guys out as much as I did. You, you know, Doc, you, you helped... I just appreciate your energy calming and cool. So Johnson, pony up the dough. We'll, uh, we'll just call, uh, we'll, we'll call it uh, a, 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 a job accomplished. I mean, you guys were way late on delivering the Baldwin Brown. I feel like that's not, you know, it's not what we agreed on. Mm, okay. Mercy, I'm gonna use, okay, guy. I'm going to use con. Okay. I, I walk up to the Johnson. Hey, uh, first of all, you smell great. Second of all, I want to remind you that halfway through our mission, you told us that it was totally appropriate for us to take a little extra time, and actually, that's what you preferred. Huh. Don't you remember? Uh, If you don't remember, you're an idiot. Do you want to be an idiot? No, no, I don't. All right. I guess here's your money. Thank you. How much do we get? How much do we get? Guys, count it up. What do we get again? I forget. (laughs) 
1500 It was 5000 a piece. 5000 a piece. Five I was going to really lowball us. All right. Uh, I buy a new hat. So uh, <laughs> I guess we give him the truck with the BTL chips in it and Baldwin Brown. Yep. And I, I, I go over to the Johnson and say, look, I know you don't want a lot of questions about stuff, but why do you want this guy so bad? <laughs> why do you want this guy so bad? <laughs> Let me tell you in song. <laughs> no, um, you know, that's none of your goddamn business. Whoa, easy. All right. Um, I guess because it's uh, time to start uh, wrapping this up, uh, we all huddle up which is a thing that we all do at the end of a, of, a, of a successful shadow run. Yeah. And then Mercy leads us in our, our traditional little, like, uh, chant that we do when, we, when, we, when we've, right. we've, we've run a shadow properly. Yeah. We fought hard. We fought, uh, we fought hard. hard. We fought good. We, we fought, fought good. good. We believe in truth. We, we believe in truth. truth. Get da, out da, of my da, truck. Da, 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 da. And then we do this weird finger yeah. thing. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And let's go bowling! Bowling! Yeah. bowling. Cut to a montage of everyone bowling. Also, let's all stick around and watch the premiere of season six, episode one of Community. <laughs> That's Harmon John. Thanks for coming. Chris McKenna was our guest. Spencer Crittenden, Aaron McGathy, Jeff Davis. Everybody, I want to see a 37% standing ovation. 37% standing ovation. Woo! 100%, 100%, 5%, 5%, 0%, 102%, 102%. Thank you, everybody. Chris McKenna, Spencer Crittenden, and Aaron McGathy. I'm Jeff Davis. How about one more time for Andy over here? Our human being back there. One big loud boo for Jordan. Boo. I'm Jeff Davis, the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you very much for coming.